Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, up till now we did already studied out that um, why we should learn Tableau, uh, what are the respective uh, like differences between the Tableau and the Power BI, why we should prefer Tableau, what are the use of Tableau, what are the things which you can do it from here. Right, so these were all of the respective things which we have studied up till now uh, into the previous videos. Right, I added up a comparison between the Tableau, the Power BI. Uh, we did look upon several parameters regarding the Tableau and the Power BI. So these were a sort of things that were already covered up onto the previous videos by me. Now, further, what I'm going to do is that uh, today I'll be starting up here. I'll be t explaining you the complete installation part, right? I'll be telling you uh, that how can you actually install the Tableau onto your devices and further how you can start using that for to your further users. Okay, this will be the complete video today about. So the website which I did have opened up here, it's www.tableau.com. It's the official website of Tableau, okay? And from here only you will be downloading. Now, moving further, I have two things to tell you here. Okay, two respective things are there. First of all, there is a public version that's completely free for everyone. It means that you can just simply use that out, use that particular version, uh, download that out and you can use that completely free of cost, okay? And second one, you are having a paid version that's uh, free for starting 14 days at starting two weeks. And further, you have to buy that out. So these are the two respective uh, things and two respective ways that uh, how do you completely have this tab. Right. So I'll be letting you know about that public version only. Right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, go on to these products. Okay. I'm going to go on these products. Now, see, you have Tableau Desktop. You are very first in which you need to pay. This Tableau Online is the one which will run out online. It will. It means that you do not have to uh, download the Tableau app. It will automatically run online. Okay. Next, you are having this Tableau Public. I was talking about this Tableau Public only because this is the public version of Tableau. It means that you can simply download that as well onto your devices. I clicked over that. Right, and now here I am having up this particular website that's opened, and which is www.tableau.com slash product slash public. Okay, now this is completely done. Okay, so you this this for Tableau public is pretty easy. You can explore the resources here, whatever the things are you are having. Okay, you can make up the uh, sheets, you can uh, design of the dashboards, all of the things are available up here. Right, so there are the detail skills, how you can do up the things. See, it's dragging and dropping up the things and your respective plot is getting made out, right? So accordingly, see, uh, these are the types of plots which you can actually make it up here according to your choice, uh, whatever you prefer out like, right? In uh, this particular video is showing. Find these visualizations and all the things are there which you can prefer out. Now, what is to be done up here is that you have to go on to the go to Tableau public. Right, now you have to go on to that particular Tableau public, right? Now here you have to put up your email address onto your enter your email address and you have to click on download the app. What it will do, it will download that exe file for you of Tableau. Okay, write up your email address here. Okay, write up your email address and simply click on download the app. And as soon as you click on download the app, it will simply start downloading that particular app for you. Now, onto my device, I do already have this particular Tableau installed. So I could simply just open that one only. So because I have this particular one installed onto my devices. Right now, this particular Tableau, which I was telling you about, it is available onto the Windows as well. And even it is available onto the Mac as well. So whatever you prefer, like you want to prefer Windows, you can go ahead. You want to prefer out Mac. So yes, you can go ahead with the Mac as well. No worries in that particular case. Okay. So yeah, hope I'm pretty much clear. And um, simply you have to uh, put up your email address and click on the download app. Uh, the exe file will be downloaded for you. Okay. Now, as soon as that exe file has been downloaded out for you, you have to open up that exe file. 
and uh, you have to just do next 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 whatever the options it asks you to allow allow all those and simply click on install so it will install up that for you and as soon as it is installed this type of small window will first of all appear out for you okay this type of window is gonna appear up so now into this particular type of window further your tab view will be opened up and here is my tab view okay i'm going to close up this right away this is my tab view how it's going to look like here are some of the files which i had already made out so for me these files are being shown out but if you for you it won't be shown out okay cool. now what do you have to do you have to go and check onto the very left hand side option okay this particular option left hand side now here you are having up the options for Microsoft Excel, text file, JSON, Access, PDF, Spatial, Statistical. What type of file do you want to connect up or upload up here onto this particular, right? I'm going to go onto this Microsoft Excel. Let me click over that. Okay. Now what it will do, it has taken me to my, uh, to my desktop, whatever the files I was having. Let's say I'm going to do it for um, 10 most visited countries and click on open. Okay. Now see what is gonna open up here see it first part is will execute the query it will show you like that executing the query and after that a new sheet is being opened up for me this is a type of sheet which will get up opened out for you right just down the side here but down below you are having up your country name the this data you are having up and the second column which i was having that is my visitors so that visitors column as well I am having. Okay, country name and the visitors. So it is showing me here that only two things you are having. That is the country name and the visitors. Okay. And this is how my uh, sheet has been opened up for me right away here. Okay. Now here we are having at the sheet one. Okay. I'm going to click over the sheet one. Right. So this is completely a new sheet has been opened up for me this is how a new sheet looks like whatever the things you are having this is how it looks like actually right so and if you again go back to the data source so it is your data has been opened for you data source is the place where your complete data will be stored out and the sheet is the one where you will be able to uh, upload your respective columns and you will be getting up the particular things right that's completely done now here you are having the options for file you want to open a new file right you want to uh, open from the tab view public you want to close what do we want to do you can second one is your data so from here you can attach up a new data source as well okay you can attach up a new here is your worksheet the worksheet is having many features like the caption summary cards toolbar controls auto updates and many things are there okay Next, you're having about making the dashboards. What are the dashboards? Dashboards are actually the combination of many time, many plots. Whatever the graphs you will be making up here, the combination of uh, different, different graphs, all of those makes up a dashboard. See, whenever you make up a graph onto one sheet, you make up only one graph, right? But in the dashboard, what happens? That in dashboard, in one dashboard, you are having many plots to be made up, right? So that is the clear idea here. Next, you're having this story function here. Next, you're having the analysis. So, for analysis, you're having the aggregate measures. Okay. Here, you are having the background maps, background images. You are having the formats here. Format means the font, the alignment, the shading, the borders, the lines, right? Titles, everything. Next, you're having up this window that's for the toolbar, status bar, and sidebar. And here, you're having up the support function for the help. Right, so these are the respective uh, things which you are having up here for the particular tableau which you have downloaded up right away. And these were the, some of the features which you are actually having up here onto the tableau. Now, how are the things being done? How do you do all the respective things? How do you drag and drop the columns? All those particular things I'll be discussing with you into the further videos. So into this particular video, I told you how about downloading your tab view. So I would again take you towards the Google. And yes, first of all, we did go on to the www.tablu.com. Right from there, we had clicked over the products, products, then the public tab view. So tab view public, then the tab view public, we clicked on this perspective page open. 
Here you have to enter up your email address, click on the download app, exe file will download for you, install that out and this type of file is gonna finally appear out for you. Great, so hope I am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you regarding the downloading the installation of the tableau public onto your devices you are having further options like using the tableau online or the desktop tableau that depends on to you right this was a public version which you can download as well onto your devices so i just told you out this particular one right so hope i am pretty much clear with the things so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care